got to. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry for all the noise, like what was that about? And sorry for my atrocious singing. Um, I just wanted to do an intro to this video because I'm going on a weekend away to Devon with Ben and some friends and I thought maybe you could come along with me for parts of it. Maybe not all of it. Um, but we've booked like a little lodge thing to stay in. So that's exciting. I am looking forward to that. And then on Tuesday, so today is Friday, on Tuesday next week, the day after we get home, it is my birthday. The most important day of the year, June 29th. Don't forget it, honey. Um, so again, I thought it could be fun to just do like a little weekly vlog um, of everything I get up to over the next few days because I've got a fun few days coming up. The weather, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, isn't looking the best, I have to say. Um, put it this way, I'd much rather be flying to Corfu. <laughs> um, I don't know why I said Corfu then, like I've never thought, oh I really want to go to Corfu. Anyway, um, I'd much rather be flying somewhere really hot and sunny and 35 degrees, all inclusive with a pool bar. But that's not going to happen. Um, but I'm really happy that we've booked somewhere to go away for a change of scenery, to not have to turn my laptop on this morning as soon as I woke up. It was like a blessing, <laughs> to be honest. It was much, much welcomed. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope this vlog turns out okay obviously I don't know what's about to come up um but yeah let me take you on the ride over the next few days I think we're gonna have some fun if you do like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below if you haven't done so already and yeah spend the next few days with me spend my annual leave with me shall we put it that way sorry I had my eyelashes done yesterday and there's one that's really annoying me I don't know if you can see that no you can't how attractive. On so far. Good morning, everybody. Well, I don't know what time you're watching this, obviously, but um, it is now our first morning. Last night, when we arrived, we just had fajitas um, and yeah, just chilled out. It was nice. We had a few drinks. A few Proseccos, um, but it wasn't a mad one because we didn't want to ruin today. We are off into Torquay today. Uh, ben wants to do a crabbing competition. I've never done crabbing before, so that will be interesting. We just had some pancakes for breakfast. We've done a big food shop at Asda, um, like a big click and collect so that we didn't have to drive down here with it all because it took us five hours <laughs> to get here yesterday. Um, and don't get me wrong, you've sort of forgot all about that as soon as you were sat in the hot tub with a glass of Prosecco, but five hours. <coughs> we made it to our Asda food shop with about ten minutes to spare. 
we made it and we are here we've just had some pancakes and actually we just had a really interesting conversation i'd like your input in the comments so that we can settle a debate is the down on the toaster do the numbers correspond to how hot the element gets or the time that the toasters pop down so if it's on like number six is it pop down for six minutes we are a bit split in our group i think it corresponds to the power of the element but i'll let you guys decide so let me know in the comments below um but yeah that's all i've really got to update you on hopefully i don't look this terrible today but yeah we're off into Torquay, which i'm really excited about um, and I'm sure I will try and get as much footage as I can from there for you to enjoy. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. The world in action, what we can be. Life with no distraction, get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. editing and I just wanted to update you that that fiver wasn't mine I'm pretty sure the whole machine was rigged no I didn't even get two peas out of that machine so if you're ever in painting don't get sucked in by the fiver on the ledge like numpty here luckily I was only putting two peas in there <laughs> 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 this is where we need that net. <laughs> 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 Isn't it weird that people just do this like easily? Like, professionally? Like, oh, you got me on, mate. You're always that side. Cheer up, Hannah, it's not the end of the world. It's a tequila shirt. It's so good. You're still not worse than James on this one, so. Sick.
well done, boys. Can you celebrate? Moment to celebrate. Yeah, that was practice. We're like Gareth Southgate's boys. What a combat. What a combat. What a combat. Alright, lads, no one likes smug boyfriends. That's why we didn't celebrate. That's why we didn't celebrate. Not much. Okay, well, at least it's dry under here. It'll be fine. Stop it. Don't take a picture of the screen. Oh, that's my character. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not looking forward to walking back down in that. Hello, everybody. Oh, I feel like I'm really zoomed in. Um, sorry, I haven't really updated you much on this trip, but I hope you've enjoyed the clips that you've seen so far. Sorry about, about the lighting, I'm currently in our bedroom. Everyone's in the hot tub at the minute, but I'm just not really feeling it because we just had a ginormous roast dinner this afternoon and it's really hurt my tummy a little bit, but this is our fancy light mirror in our bedroom. Me and Ben got really lucky because we got the room with the ensuite. It is our last full day on our little trip away. Um, it's been lovely so far. I hope you can see that from some of the footage. We've done some crabbing yesterday, which was really fun. I've never done that before, so that was my first ever crabbing experience. Um, what else have we been up to? Just chilling in the hot tub, which has been lovely. I would definitely recommend, if you're doing a staycation, getting a private hot tub. We went into Torquay city centre, Obviously, while we were crabbing and stuff yesterday. Today, the weather's been a bit pants. I don't know if you saw that from one of my clips earlier. Um, that was just before our roast dinner. Sorry, I completely forgot to film <laughs> any footage of my roast. So, apologies about that. But you can take my word for it that it was blooming delicious. Good morning, everybody. It is now Tuesday. Um which does mean something else. It is now my birthday. I'm 27 today. I'm feeling old. <laughs> um, we got back from our little trip away yesterday uh, morning. We left at like nine. That's what time we had to check out. Um, and we got home really quickly compared to the five hours that it took us to get down there on Friday. The weekend away was absolutely marvelous. Just what we needed. Uh, the weather, it was just such a shame about the weather on Sunday to be honest, but not the end of the world. Um, we still had a really good time with everybody. So then last night I also popped around to see my friend and we watched Love Island together because it was the first episode of the new series, um, which the memes just give me life i don't know if anyone else is like that let me know in the comments below if you are watching it this year i know some people are like boycotting it but i'm really excited for like we're having a little bit of normality back um but yeah today is now my birthday um the big two seven feeling old i feel like i'm now in my late 20s i can't be classed as mid 20s anymore which is a little bit depressing <laughs> so I've just been thoroughly spoiled by um, Ben. Like, also, excuse the fact that I'm still sleeping on the floor, by the way. Um, but yeah, I've just been thoroughly spoiled by Ben. So I got this new necklace, which is actually a Pandora one. Um, I asked some jewellery that I could wear like as an everyday piece. And then I also got this really cute bracelet, which again is Pandora and it just fits perfectly on me so very happy with those i got this beautiful huge bunch of roses how lovely i'm assuming he's bought like five packs <laughs> and put them all together there um and then what else did i get i got a scratch card didn't win anything i got this yummy yummy looking thornton's cake so probably gonna tuck into that for brekkie um some pjs he knows me so well i'm so happy with pjs for any occasion and then 
I, when I opened this, I couldn't work out whether it was for me or for Ben. But let me show you the t-shirt that he got me. Football's coming home in a t-shirt. So it's the England-Germany match tonight, I think. Um, so I think that's where he's got that from. I think he's intending for me to wear that on my birthday. So I think this is my birthday outfit. Um, but yeah, hands up if any of your boyfriends do things like that. I think he's super lucky that you've done so well with all the other gifts so I'm not mad about the football's coming home <laughs> t-shirt um, but I don't think we have much planned today we've I think we're going to do the first coat of paint in our bedroom um, just to make the most of us having a day off so we're going to do that this morning and then I think we're going to pop out for lunch maybe into Reading um, have some lunch and a bit of a mooch maybe around the Zara sale we're just going to have a chill day and I'm really looking forward to it Please excuse the state of me. I mean, I'm not even sorry about it. Guys, it's now the next day. It's the day after my birthday. I had a great day. Sorry I didn't really film anything. Me and Ben just done some decorating in our room um, in the morning, which I'll go up and show you in a second. Uh, we're nowhere near finished, but we got the first coat of paint on, so that is positive then uh we come home some family come around and we watch the football today i am back to work which isn't ideal it's not what it's not the life i want to live you know what i mean <laughs> but we gotta pay those bills honey but i was just sat at my desk thinking how i just can't wait to finish i'm going out for dinner tonight with ben's auntie and there was a knock at the door and it was a dpd guy who um just delivered me this bad boy and i've just been tucking in and it's from my lovely friend kate she has sent me some blondies a blondies kitchen kinder bueno brownie and i'm not i'm not joking there's some like cream on there and it's just a super soft cookie um so good yeah i'm out for dinner every night this week now so diet will not resume until probably sunday and i've got a couple of meals out planned next week so i've just got to be as good as i can um, i'm going to show you the carrot cake my lovely cousin also made for me which is also like gone pretty much but can you see that in there i don't want to unwrap it all but so good and then this was one that mumbled round and then my kitchen is currently like a florist uh, <laughs> so these were delivered to me from my lovely friend Lauren then these were from my mum and dad which are beautiful this vase actually came of Lauren's flowers but um, mum's roses fit in there better uh, than Lauren's ones did and these are from my lovely friend Jess some lilies they obviously haven't opened up yet um these were from Ben a massive bunch of roses um these were from my auntie Annie beautiful um and then so these are in a sangria jug because I literally have no other vases left and then this is a beautiful orchid from um, Ben's mum. And then, excuse the mess, I will show you what upstairs looks like in a minute and you'll understand why. Then I just got this delivered from my lovely old work friend, Sue. Excuse David Dickinson. And then these were delivered from um, my friends, Hannah and Sam, who we also went away with at the weekend. Um, and then I'll just quickly show you what progress we made upstairs because um, I don't know if I've even I can't remember what I've said or not but basically this is my let me show you let me go back this is currently upstairs so that is my headboard um, and we've recently had the ceilings replastered up here so this is our box room it's kind of just storing all the paint and stuff at the moment we had to take all the coving down so can you see we still need to fill in where the coving was um then this is the 
bigger spare room. I think that bed, I'm gonna put it here. Again, all needs to be filled in in here. The plastering was done in this room while we were away. So it's just about dry now. And then this is our room. So we haven't painted this wall yet because we're gonna do paneling from like here down. So I only wanna paint this top bit. Um, but we've gone with Egyptian cotton in here. I'm really happy with the colour. So it was like this old, like yellowy magnolia colour. I'm going to paint these doors black because um, they're like slatted wooden doors. Um, they were so dusty from the plastering. So I'm really happy with that colour. Um, but obviously, we just have no furniture in here at the moment and just need to. We just need to crack on with it because I just want my house back and I think our dining table is due to be delivered in literally a couple of weeks so I need that space down here to put my dining table in so it's just a never-ending vicious circle to be honest and then this is my bed uh, which isn't ideal. Hello again everybody. Sorry, I know this video has been really like mismatched. I'm literally just finishing off editing it and I thought I'd filmed an outro to it yesterday. Um, and I didn't because I was going to show you my haircut because I did have a hair appointment yesterday. But then my sister actually got the dates wrong. So um, I didn't get my hair done. You could probably tell because it's so friggin long at the moment. <laughs> anyway um yeah i just wanted to say goodbye and thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far i know it's been a bit of a mismatch video we had a great weekend away i had a great birthday my heart is just so full so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please do smash that thumbs up button and hopefully i will see you in the next one